Hello guys, it's your fucking totally sick boy Jim Machine here, and today we are going over the potential profit of the new sticker capsule, and especially over the new Dragon Law Fall, which could potentially be the new crown. Before we start the video though, make sure to subscribe, if you haven't already, turn on post notifications so you won't miss any new videos. The new sticker capsule has been followed by mixed up reactions. While I don't like it, some people think that it was a bit ambitious by Valve. Overall, I think that the case has its up and downs. Nonetheless, there are especially two stickers people seem to be interested in though. Before we go further into that, let's take a look at probably the most legendary sticker capsule ever. The sticker capsule 2. It was released 5 years ago and therefore is one of the oldest sticker capsules within the game. Taking a look at the stickers in this one and the prices of them, you can see that only one has detached from the average priced ones, thus being the crown foil. One of the most iconic, if not the most iconic sticker in CSGO history. Fun fact, did you know that the crown foil in China actually looks different? It looks like this instead of the normal one. The crown foil is on its rise to the highest price ever. It's currently sitting at $323, but peaked just one month ago with $427 for one sticker. It had a smaller peak a few years ago, but quickly crashed after. However, now despite some drops throughout the last rise, it seems to go up higher after each crash. How did this sticker get so famous though? It started off as a pretty good fall. You just have to accept its beauty. But it really started taking off when the Chinese scene got released up on CSGO and the general market had a huge spike after the recent crash because of the trade ban. Somehow, the trade ban rarely affected the crown foil. Don't ask me why please, I have absolutely no idea. This is the most successful non-team foil to this point I believe. So how could this help us to analyse the behaviour of the Dragon Law foil? All I can tell you right now is it will take time, and lots of it because of all the new collectors and people who were entering the trading scene trying to make some stonks out of it and well buying a lot of those stickers. Eventually a lot of people will end up saying it will not rise because too many people buy it. But that's bullshit. Supply and demand. It doesn't matter how many people buy the sticker as long as there is enough demand for it. Also the fact that stickers get applied and therefore are not sellable anymore will eventually boost the demand and lower the supply which makes the price rise. Jesus Christ, I already feel like that my economy degree is finally paying off. <laughs> the sticker definitely looks good, and there is no doubt that it will go up one day, but it might take two, three, or even five years, who knows. The sticker itself is already beloved by lots of Chinese collectors, and that demand will probably rise as soon as the capsule is being taken out of the buy menu. Now this capsule actually has two more stickers people seem to be interested in, which is the Boost Holo and the Rush 420 Holo. They seem to be kind of a nostalgic thing to the old good looking holos. I mean, look at what team holos have become, like what the fuck is this? So the capsule is backed up by two other nice looking stickers which could make the general investment into the capsule quite profitable. Can you compare this sticker and call it the new crown foil? Nah, probably not. The crown foil will remain untouched and eventually end up being freaking expensive. I see a slight potential in the capsule, but if you invest you should probably go big as the profit is going to be slim compared to the time it takes until the sticker is going to rise up in price. There are lots of other stickers hyped by the community right now, which I think that Dragon Law has a hard time to compete against, even though it is probably one of the most iconic ones. The Dragon Law has a long history and usually stickers with some sort of relation to a skin will be also visible on the price of the sticker, like the Howling Darn for example. Now when is the best time to invest in this? It's hard to tell, but most likely the stickers are going to go up as soon as the capsule are taken, like the capsules are taken out of the buying menu from CSGO. Sometimes, however, it can also happen that they drop afterwards, but for high tier stickers, this is barely the case. So if you want to invest, then I definitely recommend doing it now, as it probably is the best time. The recent few weeks, this sticker has been hyped too much, and usually a spike during the menu sales indicate a crash, which also happened here. Now that the price kind of have gone down, I think they will stabilize at around $12, maybe $10. In my opinion, and please don't take this as a valid statement, in about 2-3 to three weeks you could potentially get the best price out of this thing. 
if you buy those for let's say ten dollars in a quantity of 20 you would end up spending 200 dollars if the price rises of about 30 to 35 percent a year which is a normal rate for a good fall sticker you would have an increase of 80% after five years, which would result in the following numbers. You would have a total worth of $550 and raw profit of $350. As you can see, small investments probably aren't the best idea for this sticker, as it would be very time consuming to make profit with this item. I'd say if you are a small investor with not a lot of money at the moment, go for something different. If you wonder what kind of different I'm talking about, subscribe right now and turn on that bell because I'm um, putting out a video maybe in one or two weeks about this different item um, I found quite an interesting or multiple interesting items who seem to be going up without any notice so I'm gonna make a video on that later so if you haven't subscribed make sure to do that right now if you are thinking about investing into the capsules you could also do that right now as they are still in the CSGO menu but again you would need a high quantity to make some reasonable profit out of it if you don't want to spend a lot of money on this item, I suggest you should move on to a different type of investment. So a quick conclusion, should you invest? Yeah, you can, if you accept the long time it will probably take to make decent amount of profit. It also shouldn't really matter if you take the case or the Dragon Law sticker in general, but the safest way is probably the capsule because of the other stickers featured in the case and therefore a decent variety of profits. However, more risk could be a higher reward here as the Dragon Law Fall sticker is, if it is going up, going way higher than the capsules will ever do. So keep that in mind and yeah, I think that concludes the whole idea. I don't think that this sticker is ever gonna reach the crown fall. Nonetheless, it's still gonna be worth more after some years, also because of the history the Dragon Law has. That wraps up today's video, I hope you enjoyed it and if you did please leave a like if you have some criticism or whatever you can also leave that down in the descriptions if you have any further questions regarding this topic just ask me down below in the comment sections or on my discord which is linked in the description as well and yeah with that being said have a nice day love y'all sorry for being inactive but i just moved out i'm gonna do some i don't know update about that pretty soon and yeah see you in the next video Driving on the highway lights, strobing by Windows roll down ice, flowing low and growing I Don't really know where I'm going up in this lonely life There's so much I don't really know what's like I'm floating in a boat and the tide is rolling by Surely but slowly and I'm hoping my rowing will override But knowing this road